Hey family, it's Jason Andrew Robel here again from jasonrobel.com. That's Jason W-R-O-B as in bean dip, E-L.com. That's right, I'm gonna be rocking a super simple, really satisfying vegan appetizer today. We're rocking a roasted garlic, white bean dip that is gonna be an awesome addition to your next party. Super easy to make, really flavorful, and let me show you how to do it. Let's begin. So we're gonna start with our Gigantor Magnifico Splendifico food processor here. And I'm gonna be adding our first ingredient, which is organic white cannellini beans. Yes, you can use these out of the can or you can make them fresh, whatever your preference. If you are using canned organic cannellini beans, you'll find that it's right around two and a quarter cup as far as the volume here. Go ahead and just add them right to the food processor bowl. We've got a whole bulb, that's right, a bu -bu 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 bulb a bulbous bulb of roasted garlic. Let me show you guys what's in here. Oh, would you take a look at this? That is one of the best smells on earth right there, people, on earth. How you roast garlic is basically you just take a knife, you chop the very tip of the head off, you drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil, a little sprinkle of sea salt, and you put it in the oven at about 450 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes or so, depending on how roasty you want it. This looks perfect where it's just slightly browned on top. And all you have to do is just peel it off and put the individual cloves right in the food processor, a lack of Dios. Next up, we're gonna be doing a full teaspoon of fresh organic rosemary straight out the garden. Yeah, we're gonna dice this up and add it right to the food processor. Then of course we have to rock a little pinch of sea salt for a flavor balance here and extra mineralization. Now the other flavor in here that is so dynamic with the roasted garlic is a tablespoon of organic balsamic vinegar. It has a nice sweet tangy overtone that goes really well with the smoky earthiness of the garlic and the cannellini bean. Now the next ingredient is of course optional. I like to add just a slight drizzle of olive oil to the recipe. If you guys wanna rock something a little oil free, that's fine too. I just like giving it a nice undertone of that olive taste. So maybe a teaspoon of olive oil. And then our final optional ingredient, which again, just gives a really nice burst of flavor, is organic pumpkin seed oil. This may or may not be readily available in your area. You can find it on the internet. But pumpkin is a really awesome ingredient because it really helps to boost immunity, is very high in magnesium and zinc. And I gotta say, pumpkin oil is awesome on everything from savory to even sweet desserts. I drizzle this puppy on ice cream and it is amazing. So get your hands on some pumpkin seed oil and start experimenting in your kitchen. In this case, let's add again about a teaspoon and see what happens. Now, we are ready to begin the process. You wanna do this until you get a nice consistency. And I want to add, I've reserved about a half of a cup of the soak liquid from the can of organic cannellini beans. This is really important to get the right consistency. We're going for a dip here, so it's not super thick, but it's not too thin. I don't know what that is in the middle. We really need to invent a word. I think I need to work on inventing a word. Maybe like, it's not al dente, it's al medium -a. I don't know, I'll work on it, I promise you guys. But go ahead and process, gradually add that cannellini bean soak water to the bowl while it's processing. Check it out. Now with a lot of recipes in the food processor, there's a tendency to kind of spray the ingredients to the outer edges of the bowl. So what I like to do is take a handy dandy spatula, which is great for many things, in or out of the kitchen, <laughs> and go ahead and just scrape the edges right around the bowl to make sure all your ingredients are playing happy in the playground together. And then we're gonna process for just a few more seconds to make sure it's nice and whippy and everything's mixed well. Okay, so let's check the salt balance, check the flavors. And I'm gonna do that with some of my favorite crackers on the market. We got a little Mary's Gone Crackers gluten-free cracker action here. Of course, you can feel free to make your own easy flatbread recipe if you guys are feeling really artisan and really wanna impress the people coming over for your next party. But you know what? Sometimes you're lazy and you don't wanna make flatbread, okay? So what you do is you grab a great gluten-free cracker and you dive in. Here we go for the taste test. Mm. 
think it needs a little more salt. We're gonna salt it up a little bit more, but this is a really nice dip. I like what we got going on here. Okay, so in the finishing of this recipe, I like to obviously use a nice uh, little serving bowl here for my dip. And then I like to finish it with uh, a few different additional accoutrements. The first of which you have to get your hands on. I mean this. This and the pumpkin oil I mentioned, this is white truffle sea salt. It was made in heaven. If you believe in that, it was made somewhere glorious. That's all I'm gonna say. All you gotta do, literally with anything, chocolate, savory recipe, I mean everything. You put this on, it makes everything better. Everything, you're crying, you had a bad day, just sprinkle some truffle salt in your eyes, you'll be fine. No, seriously though, take a pinch of truffle salt, and then what I love to do is take a little bit of the extra pumpkin seed oil, drizzle it on top, just a light drizzle is fine. And then we're gonna finish it with a few sprouted pumpkin seeds on top. Like these. So if you dug my roasted garlic white bean dip recipe, give me a thumbs up on this video and leave me a comment below. What are your favorite like go-to appetizers for a party or having friends over? Like, you know, those show-stopping recipes that they're like, next time we come over, you have to make that recipe, those kind. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your go-to appetizer recipes are. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in for yet another easy, delicious, and delectable vegan recipe here with my roasted white bean dip. We got a whole lot of goodness here to chow down on, and I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Jason Andrew Robel from jasonrobel.com, Jason, W-R-O-B as in beandipel.com. Follow me on all the social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. I'm all over the place. Would love to keep up with you guys. So thanks so much. And I will see you guys here on the J. Rowe Show with another recipe soon, you sweet baboon. See you guys soon.